Yo, what's going on guys? It's Frosty here. And right now I'm going to be giving you guys a review of my mini Battle of the Bulge mock. And I pretty much did this to scout out pieces and new designs and stuff and tree designs and just how many tree leaves I am gonna have to buy for the mock. So this currently involves all of my tree pieces and a bunch of my round one by one studs. And these are really the only weight plates I have left. So I'm going to have to make a lot more orders once I finally have some more money to spend. And then another order of my Panther pieces came in. And hopefully all of the pieces for it should be in tomorrow. And I'll be able to build that thing tomorrow. But anyways, let's get started. And basically this mock is based in the Ardennes Forest during the Battle of the Bulge. And... Basically, a small American squad ambushed a German squad, which has my half track, which I actually uh, redid in a snow camo that is the, um, inspired by Seabricks Tutorials or Omaha Bricks, which is his website. I have some nice models. Go over there and check them out. So that's what that is. And then I'll just get to the figures later. But right here you have the bazooka team, which pretty much started this entire battle. And this guy's pretty much tapping him on the shoulder saying, all right, like, let's go. Let's get out of here. Because he actually did shoot the half track and it took out the treads and it actually killed this MG42 gunner right here as his legs are blown off right there. And then right here you just have the regular 30 cal gunner who began shooting at the Germans who got out of the back of the half track to pretty much displace from the thing that just got practically blown up. And then you have my BAR gunner who is also shooting at these guys over here. And then right here you have the uh, squad leader right here. Let's see it right there. And he's actually shooting down at these same guys and same with my rifleman right here. And then right here is just a pine tree design, which I kind of like, but I feel like I can get something better. And then if we flip it around here as my German just fell off. I'm trying not to get anything to really fall over right here. So if we flip it over here, this is the German perspective. And like I said, the half track got hit by the, um, R uh, not RPG, the bazooka. And these three guys got out of the back to try and combat the Americans. And these Germans are my newly painted Splinter Camo Germans. So all of them have that green, dark green town and tan and dark brown designs painted all over them. And that little camo, so that goes for all of them right there. And I do have 10 of them. So these three guys just got absolutely mowed down by, like I said, the squad leader and the rifleman. And then this guy right here tried to run back, but he did not make it in time. And then this German soldier right here is just scared because he doesn't know if he's going to make it out of this firefight alive or not. And then up here, you have a German soldier jumping over the um, top of the half track with his car 98 right there. He's just jumping out to take cover behind it. And then this guy is just talking with the one commanding officer who is telling him, like, stay calm, like, we'll get out of this right there. And then he actually does have a new balakava head, which I did get in my order today. So I really love the way that it looks right there. And then over here, you have a German grenadier telling this commanding officer to calm down. Everything's going to be okay because, as you see, he dropped his MP40 right there and he's screaming because he's scared because the Americans ambushed them out of nowhere. And it was pretty much supposed to be a normal patrol through the forest but they ended up getting ambushed. So right here, I'm just gonna give you guys an overview of the mock and it is one green base plate in size right there. So I really, like I said before, I just built it to get a feel for how many pieces I need. And I can tell you right now, I'm gonna need a lot more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, comment. I haven't said that in forever, but that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one later.